Maybe you write in a paper notebook, but you know, it's hard to find things. But then I know I tried to do some draft management and I created these different file folders for each step in my writing process and I had drafts held together with paper clips. Still hard to find things and it got heavy. I'm Joni Stanglin and today I want to show you how I use OneNote to do draft management when I'm writing poetry. What I like about OneNote is that I can have a separate section for each poem that I'm working on. And then inside the section I use pages for each draft of the poem. If I want to create a new draft, I click New Page, and I'll call this 5. Come back to the previous draft, select it, and I'll click Copy, Paste. And I'm ready to keep working on the poem and I can do whatever I want and not worry about losing anything because I have all my other previous drafts. The other thing about OneNote is that I can have section groups for the phases in my writing process, just the same as those vanilla file folders I threw on the floor. I even have a section group for free writes. And then if I decide that I want to turn one of these free writes into a poem and work on it some more, I can right click Click Move Page 2, another section because I'm going to make a new one. I'll scroll down here to my Working folder, create new section. I'll call this Bulb, okay, and then I'll click Move. Now when I go into my Working section folder, there is my free write, and I'm ready to start creating drafts and work on it. Sometimes when I'm working on a series, I decide to put everything in the same section because it helps me to know what I can move around and move even from poem to poem. So I'll have a page for my poem and then I'll make the new drafts on subpages. I can create another draft by clicking new subpage and I'll type pairs rev eight and I just create a new draft. The other nice thing is that if I get stuck on something and I can't figure out how to make it work and I just want to come back to it later, I can highlight it. And now it's easy to spot that, oh, that's something I need to work on. Now, all this organization is really great, but sometimes I still can't find things. And that's OK, because the search in OneNote is fantastic. So right now, I'm going to come up here to search, and I'm going to type Anchor and search on Anchor. And OneNote gives me this list. And if I click something in the list, it will show me the page and highlight the word that I've searched on. Now, let's see, I think this is the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's right. So I can get rid of the list. Now, this is a poem I think I'm ready to send out. So I'll come up to this section. I'm going to move it to my ready to send section group. There we go. And I'll go to the ready to send section group. And here it is. Now I'm not going to send it out in a OneNote file. I'm going to put it in Word. So I have a little Word template here that even has uh, my contact information in the header. And I'll come over to OneNote and I'll select that and click copy. Come to my Word template paste and now I'll say match destination formatting hmm it's kind of small isn't it we can fix that and now I have a poem that's ready to send and that's how I use OneNote to write poetry 